How's your car set up? Feel okay? Yeah. As good as we can. Um, did we get up to last time? Going on high roads. We did. We went yes. some fast roads. We did some roundabouts as well, didn't we? Okay. Yeah. How do you think that was? How, do you think it was successful? Do you think um, it was successful in a way? Like I know now the gear. I know the gears are going to be fine now because it's just you've got to remember to do the palm method to the right. Relax as well. Yeah. That's the key. Roundabouts just, need more work. Roundabouts need a little bit more work. Okay. Um, I agree. What, what type of things do you think we should be working on with roundabouts? Then? Breaking coming up to the approach. So it's the emerging and the changing what we're doing to yeah. suit. All right. Um, task for you today. Okay. To try and relax. relax this left hand on this and your right hand on the wheel. Because we've done that the last couple of lessons. Remember the lesson before last we we were coming home and I forced the issue with you to use that right hand and it did go a little bit pear shaped. So we've we found out that that's something that scares you a little. Yeah. So it's easier for me to sit here and just go. You don't need to worry. You don't, but it's easier. Said easy, than done. Easier said than done. All right, but try and relax with your hands as much as you possibly can. Um, so we've got to be in work really in about an hour, haven't we? Yeah. Give you enough chance to uh, to get in and get sorted. That's fine. Um, roundabouts then? Should we going to do a few more? Yeah. Okay, super. Feel okay with everything? Yeah. Happy? Should I let him go first, Rick? Um, leave it to you. Just remember what we've said about sitting and staring at people and showing intentions. What does he look as though he's doing at the minute? Getting ready to go. Okay. Are you ready to go? Okay. What does he look as though he's doing now? Still getting ready to go? We're good. Good, Connor. Nice job. Excellent. Sort that mirror around. Okay, now keep it going for a little touch. Try not to steer away from this one. You've still got to follow the shape of the road, Aaron. But what we will do is we'll take the next road on the left. Thank you, buddy. And then we will just park in just around the corner if we're not going to be blocking anyone. It depends on cars parked around there. So try and make that decision on what it's like now. What's it like? It's going to be good, isn't it? So what's the signal going to do once we straighten up? Put it on again and show your brake lights for the uh, Tesco van behind. Good. That'll do nicely. Cool. Secure your car. Good. Shouldn't have moved it, but I did. It's all right. A little habit as well, if you do park, just get used to taking your left signal off also. I normally always do. Hmm. Um, it's not a big deal to have it on when you're parked, but the problem is people forget about it then when they're moving off. Okay. I think that one's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Do you get what I was saying about the left signal? Yes. If you have a left signal on, on and you move off and there's other people about they're going to be confused that could be a, it can be a serious fault on occasions as well on your driving test happy yeah okay go on off we go just in case someone comes around the corner yeah okay and if you're that close to the corner i don't mind that either As loose a grip as you can today, Aaron, with everything. All right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. What time you in work till? Seven. Wait, it's quite a Great. It's quite a decent shift, that as well. I don't like it. I'd rather do I know you'd late rather, or yeah, early. The early yeah, I know what you Not mean. in between, because that's ruined your whole day. Literally ruined your whole day. I know. End of the road. We'll turn right, please. Yeah, 
nice job. Yeah, you're doing it well. Good. What you straighten with? It's the good. left curve. Nice job. That was good. Because on occasions you end up in the middle of the road there, you didn't now. Well done, good. Is he telling me to move over then? No. Oh, that's what he was doing. I was like, oh my god. No. Sorry. Cool. We'll turn left at the top, please. Don't forget this left mirror as well. I think I did, did that too, a bit too early, didn't I? No, you I? didn't. Oh. Do you need to break though? No. No, okay. Good strength with the white line, good. Try and get going now a little bit, Aaron. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Good, thanks gear, come on. Well done. It's all the way from ours, all the way till there, when it was the first time you did a gear change. Yes. Could have easily got a second in, couldn't you? Yeah? Okay. All good. Nice job. It's nice that I can just sit and just let you go with certain things now as well. What's that up there on the road ahead? Is that a mum and baby? On the right road. hand side? Yeah. Um, I think it's just a girl walking. Oh, it's Bullard's on it's the, the road. Yeah, the, there was a massive hole in it when I was jogging the other day. It's the best place to deal with space. He's gonna go there. So, so it was the best deal, place to deal with the space through, wasn't it? Yeah. Thank you, buddy. What's the best thing to do with this? Slow down. Okay. 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 Cheers, buddy. Hold on. I think you were still caught at looking at the car a little bit, rather than the the, the solution. So try and look at the solution. Yeah, there was a massive hole. Um, down near this grid, it looks as though they've obviously repaired it now, but when we jogged past, you could actually see about two foot down into the road. It was mad, it was as if anyone else was gonna go over it. <laughs> we just ended up in a big hole in the road, but anyway, the state of the roads aren't the best. Um, end of the road, turn left, please. Good. Oh shit, sorry. Don't worry, sorry. you're allowed a swear word here and there. Just be gentle, nice and relaxed, Ellen. Oh, Ellen. Who did you just call me? <laughs> I've got no idea what I said. It was just one of those times that your mouth doesn't work. <laughs> Ellen. You've got problems. I've never had Ellen before. No. She's someone I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know an Ellen, to be fair. Anyway. What was your corner like? I thought that was okay. It was pretty good. The braking was too harsh coming in. A little that bit. was by accident. A little bit. Um, I know you never do things on purpose, so don't worry. <laughs> um, let's get going a little bit. Come on, let's work. Um, I still think the braking's the, the thing that scares you a little bit, isn't it? Coming into roundabouts and yeah. coming into junctions. I don't roundabouts. No. Um, but what we're going to try and do is stay nice and relaxed with that braking pedal. Therefore, go. Good. 
remember it's not a steer that you've got to be doing, it's adjusting that speed. Good job Aaron, nice work. You were aware of that that time as well, weren't you? Well done, good. Yeah, the only mess up is me getting your name wrong. <laughs> do say some cracking things sometimes as a driving instructor in the car. Said some absolute corkers. Funny. Has anyone ever got offended when you've called them by the wrong name? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice job. Relaxed. Relaxed. It's too harsh. Way too harsh. Um, <laughs> And it's it's that harshness with your feet which sort of like causes a little bit of the panic as well. You've yeah. got to stay relaxed. You've got to stay relaxed with your hands. You've got to stay relaxed with your feet. If you're relaxed, you'll get to it a little bit quicker. Good. Yeah, good. What do we mean? Got to relax. Yeah. yeah. And what have we said about putting your hand down on the gear lever? Yes. Go ahead and work your feet a little bit quicker. And now smooth. And now squeeze. Come on, you know what to do with that. Cool, there you go. Relax. Not a bad little start, well done. Apart from that. That's a, is there anything dangerous or anything majorly problematic with that though? No. No? So? Worry about little things like that. Try not to slow too early because okay. people will think you're going to park in okay. or you're going to turn. Yeah? Cool. Up to these traffic lights and we're going to turn right, please. Okay. Have a listen to that. What could that do with? Yes. Good, nice and relaxed with your hands, Fab. Off you go again, perfect. Why shouldn't we signal at the minute? Because I can go into that road there. Okay, so, relax. Good. Even that road. Sometimes, maybe a little bit misleading can you drive to people. Into that bit there yes, you can. Here? Yes, you can. Yeah. How would you go about that? Would you just go into that bit there and wait for it to be clear? Yeah, for the oncoming. So from where the red ones obviously come in, you give way to oncoming. Yeah. Um, and it's just to park at the shops. You can't get out at the other end oh, apart from going yeah. that way. So you have to do like a sharp turn back on yourself. But people use it as a little cut through for the shops to save waiting at the lights. <laughs> Which is not illegal, but um, it's a little bit selfish. It's, I don't want to say it's dangerous, but it, it could be. You're going to have more people walking to and from the cars, from the shops. So that situation, just wait at the lights. It's going to gain you maybe 30 seconds by putting other people at risk a little bit more. But it's, uh, it's not legal. Relaxed. Everything. Yeah, good, nice, beyond. What do you see far up? What are, you, what are you gonna do then? Go. Go on then. Nice work. That wasn't very nice. What? What are you talking about? That gear change. No, it was fine. I had no issues with it. You picked the correct one, your hands were nice and relaxed, your steering there was very good as well, straightened up with the correct side. So I think you, you wrapped up a little bit too much with how each gear change goes. Just try and just get each one good, try and um, be and now analysing each gear change that you do and try and work out what caused it to be either good or bad. Yeah, generally it's going to be just relaxing, so relax as much as you can. Yeah, and smoothly be increasing a little bit more pressure. Bit more, bit more yet, bit more yet, bit more Aaron. Bit more. Lesson. Perfect. Yeah? You have to change what you're doing with your feet. You still use that foot a little bit like just on or off, don't you? Yeah? And this pedal is also one that I'm constantly trying to twi yes, twist your arm to use a little bit more. But then you've got to come off it a little bit sharper to get your gear change sorted. Yeah? Work your feet. Cool. Nice job.
shop. Let's get going. It is a 40 limit as well, Aaron. Nice work. Now, at the major junction up at the top, we are going to head round to the right, please. I'd like you to look at everything first. No one's behind, are they? Is it a good time to change lanes across the crossing now? No. Have you seen the green signs? Yes. Okay. No. Yeah, good. I agree, yeah. No one's around. Which lane are you going to choose? This one, this one, this one. Look at the green signs. How many lanes go round to the right? So if there's a choice and you're not overtaking, where should you pick? Do you think a signal would be beneficial to anyone yet? Well, it may make people think that you're going in that lane, but there's no one around. So me, I would just, I, I think you really needed it. Do you need the gears coming back in or do you need the brake, Aaron? I need the brake, but I was gonna go down, but it's okay. For what? For the red light? Yeah. Concentrate on your braking, yeah? Braking is going to give you time. Good. All right, does that make sense about the signal? To do this little turn into here. No one's around. Would you signal for doing a compulsory right turn like we're doing here? Well, if we can only go in this direction, is it necessary? Not always, but people are um, a little bit black and white on their opinion oh, with this. That. Good. See that cyclist that's just cycled across? Yeah. Do you think our signal maybe helped, helped, him. helped him? Yeah. There you go then. I would do the gear change when I got round. You should have done it well sooner than that. Okay. Yeah? You've got to plan further. Yeah? Okay. Come on. Get ahead more. Yeah? Get your eyes off this first little section in front of you and get your eyes, maybe, up where they're crossing its minimum. Yeah? Even if you look where the crossing is, you can see everything in between, can't you? Yeah. Okay, there you go then. So going back to what I was saying about the um, right signal to do a compulsory right turn. Some people have a little bit tunnel vision to say, no, you don't need to. Sometimes you may have to. Well done for going ahead over the flyover. I didn't say go left, did I? Well done, good. That mistakes. All right, you need to. That's what driving's all about, to be honest. Well done. Okay, from the first 15 minutes or so, what, what would you say that we can be going off to work? And we, we're going to get near some roundabouts in a minute, but breaking. Breaking. Yeah. Agreed. Nicely controlled your speed up and down the hill. That was excellent. Very good. And over the top of the hill, the next one, we're going to turn right, please. Should we go in yet? Yeah, yeah if, before the crossing then. Now, me, I would have signalled there because look at the car behind, it's within overtaking range. Good. Does that make sense to what I'm saying about overtaking range? Yeah. Good. Well done. Good. How long is this going to stay on red for though? Good. It's not going to be long, is it? Well done. What are we waiting for? Can I go then? What does flash number mean? Go. Give way to people on the crossing. I'll say puffin. Pelican. Pelican, I knew it. Flashing amber means give way to people on the crossing. So if no one's there, what do you do? Go. You go. So they're the rules. People are expecting you to do that. If you don't, you are putting more risk with people at the back of us. Well done. Does that make sense? Yeah? Okay, it's quite an important one, that as well. If you stop unnecessarily, you are always risking issues with people from behind. Okay. And although they should be paying attention, we're trying to stop accidents from happening. Not just wag our finger and saying, you should have stopped. <laughs> That's not what it's about. Not at all, a pretty good little start. Say that's puffin, pelican. Pelican. Pelican have the cows. Cows. Yes. And the flashing amber. 
Yes, and then you give way, and then the other ones, the puffin is sensor when they get off, isn't it? Correct, and then they'll change like normal lights. Yeah. So these lights will go from red to red and amber, which means get ready, and then green means go yeah. clear. I know this, why am I still getting it wrong? But every time I do my theory, do like mock test, I get it right. I think things pressure. So therefore, <laughs> therefore um, th but there's no pressure on it apart from the pressure that you put on yourself. Didn't have any issues around us, so no pressure. When can you find time for the gear? Accelerate a bit, can you get it now? Accelerate it, get it now. Good, then steer. There you go. Nice job. You have to find a little bit better times to do that, yeah? And it is actually controlled with your feet as well to, to find these little times. You have to look far and make sure you've got... I thought she was going to be cheeky and go then. I was like, please don't. Were you ready for her though? Yes. Good. Well done. Excellent. So you, you have to look far enough to see whether you've got enough time to hold your hand still to get that gear. So it still comes from where you look a little. All right. So, Ooh, we're gonna up, up. yeah, um, we're going to have a go at all of these roundabouts all the way down. We're just going to go ahead at each of them. All right. Um, trying to adjust what you're doing with your feet to suit the road that we're trying to join. All right. I always mess up on these roundabouts for some reason. You're all right, buddy. Straight, please. And relax, not just over the front. You've got to move your head to get around the pillar, but not to look over the front. So start the brake gently and keep braking until you're certain. What are you going to do? Me. When's your gap probably coming? After this one. Happy then, go for it. What lane do you stay in? This one. Do it then, move your hands more. Yeah, move your hands. You're not doing well. Relaxed now, relax. Well done. Good, relaxed. Good. You actually chose a pretty good little gap there. Well done. What did I have to sort of like prod you with to get you doing it? Relax. Break, break a little bit and also hands to go around, yeah. which is both to do with relaxing and chilling with it, isn't it? Good. Yeah, needed that, doesn't it? Well done. Good. So we're going to go ahead at this next one also. All right, that was pretty good. Try and remember those couple of little things that we've said about continuing to break all the time until you're certain. You chose your gap brilliantly, but just this one, try and do that getting onto the roundabout round to the left of your own accord this time. Ahead is the third exit where the police van's just gone far side. Okay. All right. So that brake stays being pressed. You might change it, but stay covering or using the pedal until you're done, until you're absolutely certain. We're not certain yet, are we? So what gear are you going to pick, do you think? Good, good, good. Well done. Now relax. You can see where we're heading. What should you do with speed if there's a bit of steering to do? Slow down. Are you? Are you? Better. Nice job, well done. Straight. Third exit again, please. Where's the bus gonna go? from his position. Could he come round in front yeah. of you? So start the brake. What gear are you going to pick? You're going to leave it in second? It will go in second if your feet are yeah. smooth. Oh. You got time or not? No. First gear then. Where's he going? Uh, he's not even Where's the next one going? going. Therefore? Go. Therefore? There you go. Third junction. So we're passing one. When are you going to get your gear in? Can you get it now? Yeah. Yes, there. Sorry, that wasn't that smooth at all. Sorry. Did you grab at it? Yeah. And that's why it wasn't that smooth. And that's why you had to have two attempts at it because you sort of like gripped a little. However, I think that was pretty successful. I don't think that you've done those roundabouts that comple <laughs> that completely before. Neither. <laughs> so well done. There's an improvement for us, isn't there? Well done, good. Have we ever done a double roundabout? Um, yes, we've done the one um, by the test centre. By the test centre, yeah, we have. So we're going to have a little drive and um, just chill for a minute. You deal with all the other stuff that's going on around here. Smooth, but increased pressure. 
and then relax and loosen pressure a little. Stop smoothly though. That wasn't really a smooth stop at the end, was it? Try and change what you do to make that happen. All right. Okay, good. So is there anything with those few roundabouts that we've just done that you think you need to be helped with or explained to or is it just a bit no. of practice? Practice. Practice. Okay. Need to relax. Yeah. Easy said than done though, isn't it? Yeah. That's been a positive little start. You keep your concentration going today. That's another little challenge I'm gonna give you. Yeah. It's lacking a little bit of gas as you're starting. Yeah. Remember the noise is good. We need noise, we need engine sound, don't we? Relaxed, but you'll still easy do it. Just press it more if you need to, and then relax it and smooth it at the end. Smooth it, but try not to release try not to too let much. Out. Yeah, you have to release in a smooth manner also. Good. Well done. Nice job. Do you think this car to your right is a little bit of a risk if they came into yes. the left lane? So keep up with them now, as long as you are behind them, you're safe, aren't you? Yeah. So appreciate people in that opposite lane especially with them uh, travelling reasonably closely to the little uh, truck in front, it was likely that they could have come in. They obviously haven't now, but think of things, anticipate stuff. We're going to get to these traffic lights and do a left turn, please. We're not going to pub, cancel the signal. Oh, I wish we were. Use your brake. When can you indicate? No. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? It's going to be a while, I think. So do I. Nah. Will that come out of? Um, handbrake now. Say again. No, don't worry. What did you say? Then would it come out of handbrake now? Because not if no, not if you take it out of gear. Then relax your feet. A little bit wide, Erin. I know. I don't want to hit the things on the side of the road. You wouldn't done. They okay. were on the side of the road. Yeah. <laughs> so go around the curb or go around them rather than looking forward. It's not steering, avoiding things. It's going round what you need to go around. Still relax hands and feet and they'll work a little bit sharper and quicker, they do. Nicer. So relax that opposite hand on the wheel a little. Cool. Are you ready to deal with the brakes if the lights change? Look at the lorry behind. He's not close so you could stop. You could. 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 We're through but keep an eye on this one to your left. What should we do with it? Is it going in there? Really, it's very good. Good. Go even slower to roll in. Not bad at all. That pretty good. Well done. So, first half an hour, do you think? Not bad. Yeah. And pretty good, isn't it? Successful. Yeah. Good. Certainly. 
But it says it looks like it's a fountain down there, then I realise the fountain has docks as well. Yeah. Yes, I've never been to South Hamilton, I don't think. We'll have to arrange it one day. Yeah. I think Liz would enjoy the... Lacking of the gas there to move off. Why are we drifting right, Erin? Sure You're staring in that right mirror. Yeah. Yeah. I honestly thought the roads merged into one. That's because I didn't look ahead enough. They had to tell me. Okay. Gotcha. Follow your left curve across the other side. Still use more gas on start-offs as well. Don't be scared of it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do um, a roundabout. We're actually going to take the third exit at Seaforth and Litherland. Okay. So we turn left at these lights. And then we sort of like enter the roundabout. So you've got to assess the speed for the corner here, which is easy now because the lights are on red. I would have went gear one, no two. Yes, good. I don't want to just go so slow. Yeah, just break. Hold on. Look around your junction, not the floor. That's what I was getting at. Good. Third exit. So we're passing exit one, aren't we? Don't forget that signal off as well. That was quite important at that two. point, wasn't it? So C3. Yeah. Happy. Nice job. That was pretty good job. Well done. You just need to discover things sooner. Yeah. Don't you? You're working them out, but you're a little laboured and a little late and a little slow doing that. Okay. Got to trust your eyes up a little bit further and work things out a little bit sooner. But not bad, there's definite steps forward, well done. Yeah, the docks are a pretty big part of Southampton, are they? Um, I think it's where a lot of the jobs are. Yeah, that's, Liv that's like Liverpool used to be as well. It's not so much now, although the docks have made a, a little bit of a recovery. Yeah, it's good. Well done, you were scanning around. Nice job. Where are we? Seaforth. Near Bootle. Back end of Bootle, yeah. We are going to take the second left, not this one here. It's where the grey little Peugeot's just come around the corner. So this next left now, please. How sharp's this? Quite. Will it go round in second? I don't think so. I would have. Muppet. Oh, sorry. You're looking at the floor, Heron. You're steering away from the van rather than following the kerb. You're very close to the kerb and you're a little slow. So try and just work out in your own mind why that wasn't as successful as it could have been. Because I was worried there wasn't enough sharing distance there and then I was concentrating on the van so it didn't all go right. Look at the space and look at the sharpness of it, yeah. That idle speed in second is... It would have been perfect for that as well, yeah. Remember to follow your bend and look at your corner rather than just steering away from the van in that avoidance. It's still a, a little bit of a uh, point, isn't it really? Yeah. Hold on. Up at the end, you tell me where we're going. So, is it beneficial to anyone not behind? But from coming, maybe. Not really. Might. They know we're going this way. Okay. The brake was too much, and too it is. Nice. It's too harsh because you're just looking at the floor, Aaron. What gear are you gonna need with how fast we're going? Good. What do you see? When's the space? Left at the lights, also, please. No signal. Leave it. Just steer. It will straighten. Steer. Straighten. Then put it back on. Still obsessed with those signals, aren't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think the braking goes a little wrong because you still look. Yeah. It does, doesn't it? You got no idea on how much to actually use the brake. Cool. Well done. Yeah, you won't have any idea on how much to use the brake if you don't look to see what's going on side to side. Bad at all, well done. It's not the speed bump error. Come on, look at the whole lot. Not one thing. Yeah, I agree. Well done. Love it. The speed bump.
bumped it is still a 30 limit so when that's the case pick the speed that feels suitable to go over the speed bumps yeah unless there's obviously other bigger dangers still on as well, what's going on? It's a good day. It's all right, if the road's clear, just squeeze your gas more and go. Is the crossing good? Yeah. Is the next crossing good? Yes, Good. What type is the next crossing? That is a... It's got a picture of a bike on it. Toucan. <laughs> good. I know that one. Mm -hmm. Nice job. We've got a roundabout to do. What we're going to do, Aaron? is we're going to go ahead please it's the second junction keep going for a bit come on keep going you've got to keep going and then use your brake to actually deal with it not just back off as soon as i give you the instructions how much brake listen to it what's the bus doing coming aim your car where you want to aim then what gear should we pick good that was good Relax now, hands and feet, relax. Relax and look at you, were late looking up because you're looking in here, you went in there. Do you understand? You've got to look round more, really important. If you look round more, you could have found a little time for that second gear a little bit earlier as well. Yeah. The process coming in though is well improving. So rather than just panicking with the bus, you actually slowed and did what you needed to do. Try not to stay at the bin wagon. Try and think on what you've got to do to fix this. Stop. What position should you be in? Is there a space? Listen to your engine. Come on, do more. Can we just go round it? You can. Go on, check your mirrors out, go. Come on, let's get it done before the next van comes. Check your mirrors out, come back. Well done. Get prepped. Okay, good. Yep. Not a bad decision to go in this lane with a silver one, but now stay in this side, stay in this side, stay in that side, because you're drifting across, you can't Erin. Look here first. No signal, no, 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 no. Don't think that you've got a signal to move your steering wheel, you haven't. Yeah? Okay. Third gear, come on. Come on, there's more to do. Let's get working. Good, come on. Roundabout coming up, and we're gonna turn right. It's the second one up the hill. Right, second junction, please. What do you do with the right? Go into this. Signal right, come on. What are you gonna do? Are you braking? No, come on, get your gear sorted. It's a bit late. That's snatched, that's fourth. Oh my goodness. Ah. You didn't do much, Aaron. How do you leave now? This one? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, that wasn't great, was it? Find oh somewhere goodness. to park in on the left, just quickly. Can I park there? Yeah. Bring us in, keep rolling. First gear, you've run out of momentum, keep rolling. Gas and bike to creep. And where do you look to get straight? Get your car straight, get it straight. Good, done, finished. Whoa! <laughs> no issues, just have a little think about that last one. Pardon? No issues, just think about that last one. What went on? Too much and not enough all in once. Just too late starting stuff. Okay. You were too late um, looking, you were too late choosing the gear. Remember, if there's steering to do on the approach, we need to assess it and slow and pick your time for your gear in that little section where you're not steering. Mm -hmm. And that all went wrong because you spent far too much time looking at that single portion as you came in. All right? 
No issues, but come on, let's get a little bit better. All right. Is it just when the stress levels sort of like go a little higher? Have you seen naturally? That's when your eyes then do that, don't they? Mm -hmm. And it's a bit of a, I don't want to say a vicious circle, but it sort of is, isn't it? Yeah. Let's do a better job with this next roundabout. We will. Are we going left or right? We're going, a, <laughs> we're going ahead. Listen carefully though. It's the fourth exit. Ahead. Ahead. So what lane are you going to choose? Left. Good. Off you go. Well, that's a trick question then. No trick questions from me. <clears throat> nice job. And smooth them. Good. Well done. Good. Leave this one to you. See if you do a better job. Okay. I'm there to help. Don't forget. Not that area in front. That is irrelevant. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. What are you gonna do now? Yeah, and what are you can do with your steering. Yeah, aim it. Well done. Doing a good job. Stop with your feet though, Erin. Not your hands. Yeah. You have to creep before your gap arrives. Good, good, good. Go on then. Go on then. And count out loud as we're passing. One. Good. Two. No, we haven't passed two yet. Two. Get third, get second gear. Three. Know where you're going. Four. Mirrors. Yeah. You count as you look at them. Okay, which is not, not, not good. good. Not good. Okay. Count as you pass them. Okay. Yeah, because then you'll find out where you need to go and what you need to do. Okay. All right. That was not bad though. It's a difficult little roundabout that one. Well, big roundabout. We're going to take the next left, please. Okay. Make sure we're on the left. Not braked whatsoever, you just chose gear. Bring the clutch up, off everything, look round. Idle speed, off everything. Look round, not forward. You have to get away from looking forward to turn. Yeah, and you're still obsessed with these gears. You will never choose Are correct. Are we going back round to that roundabout? Sort of, yeah. You will never choose correct gears, Aaron. By looking ahead of you. By looking forward. No, no and you will never choose the correct speed by choosing a gear. No, no. Come on. We are coming up to another roundabout. Where are we going to turn left first exit, please? Okay. Fancy. <laughs> Come on, then. It's clear. Okay. Ready to change your mind? Yes. Do you need to change? No. We go. That's sharp. And that signal's really important for the black Range Rover, the silver one, the white Mercedes. Yeah? Yes. Good. Straight at this one. Fourth junction. Okay. We will count as we go. So as think? you pass. As we pass. Okay. Yeah. Straight to fourth. Is the last one you're gonna wait for. Black one. Get it ready and get it working then. Now count as you pass. One. Good. When can you get second then? Good. Now where are you going? Three. How do you leave? Amazing difference. A bit wide though Erin. Yeah I think you just got a little bit tense and a little bit oh, I'm getting out of there which you didn't need to. You actually did that very well. Okay, apart from that last little bit where you went a little bit wide, that was a pretty good job. Just counting the exits as you pass them help? Um, not really. That you don't think so? You knew where you were going. Yeah. It stops you looking over the front of the car. So I guess. <laughs> yeah? yeah? So it's a massive, massive benefit to people when they're doing roundabouts to count the exits as they pass them, not as they see them. You get less confused. Straight at this one, please. Second exit. Don't know, brake more. Aim your car. 
aim your car, get your first gear ready. Now you're all done and ready if there's any space. Do you know where all of these are going? No. Which is, when are you going to start creeping? No. Go on then. So we're not past our junction yet, are we? No. Now so we get are. the steer, steering wow. fixed, second now, and then check, and then signal. Oh, and this time, try and gear. follow that. If you reach with your hands more, you'll have more to then I, pull down and yeah, round. I also launched that gear up. Yeah, that's a, a little bit. I'd rather you launch the gear up and steer properly, but you're still obsessed with them things a little bit and how they're getting on. But it, it was a pretty good job. I think those roundabouts have been loads better. Apart from the one. one they're, not, a little bit. they're not perfect yet, no, but they're, far, far they're, from it. they're Improving. Well improving. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Well Ooh. impressed with that. Traffic lights and turn left, please. Try not to slow to it. That's also something that stops you having to use your brake as required as well. Which other mirror? Mm -hmm. No handbrake, no feet to do your stop. Then you can fix your hands. Why is he moving away? Decide whether it's worth moving up or not. Yeah. Might be now. Might now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. definitely now. Definitely. Any cyclists? No. Good. When's the first opportunity you can hold your hand still to get. Oh, okay, alright. Super. Uh, gentler with your feet, gentler with the brake, and quicker with the clutch. That's alright. They went quick, didn't they? They certainly did. Let free pass through. Got to start something like that. Um, how it works though is off the flow of the traffic and the amount of traffic. Okay. Yeah, which off the sensors don't forget. So if there's not much, they will change quicker, generally. So junctions work in a little different. So how come at night traffic lights still change when there's no traffic? Is that just by time in there? Yes, they will have a certain um, length of time that they will stay on green, and then in case. The sensors aren't infallible. There are some situations, um, they, they won't always get it right, okay? Um, so there are certain timings that they will then go through a length of time and then change just to make sure they've not missed anyone from the other junctions. any gas you just lifted the clutch that's all you did and the car went nah not having that yeah you don't have to apologize but same things really isn't it we still said a fair bit today about you need more gas to move off yeah we have come on work with it stay in this lane remember it but forget it now forget the fact that you've made a mistake but try and get better with the next one we're going to get to the roundabout and turn left, please. All right. <laughs> Needs gas before you go, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Cannot just use the clutch. It causes all problems. What do you do with the left turn? Keep braking and choose your gear for what you're seeing. If you can't go, what do you do with the brake? A bit more. What do you do with the gear, then? Stop, can't see. Now you can. You didn't do enough with the brake there. Okay. You couldn't see, but that doesn't mean there's no one coming. Yeah? 
Well, you couldn't see with that vehicle that was next to so you, you needed to brake more and see the other side of it, past it. That's good. Did well. Nice work. Relax, chill. Set the traffic lights up at the top. Yeah. You know where you're going, don't you? Turn them right. Doesn't have to be foof. Come on, work, concentrate. Don't let your nerves overshadow what you should be doing. Leave the gear. Have a look at the corner. Listen to it. Yeah? That's still your first reaction. To put your hand on the gear lever and try and choose a gear. And that overrides your observational stuff. And that's when it goes wrong. Yeah? That has to change now. You've got to change your mindset in what you're doing. It's okay. Don't worry. Just fix it. What should you do? Yes. Take it out of gear. Relax. Relax. It's amazing how fear sends your head into a pickle as well, isn't it? Yeah? So we're going to get you through this fear. What caused the stall? Don't you take it out of gear? It's gear and then, again. And yeah. Well. What lesson? Yeah. It's my job to do that, don't worry. What are you missing on the last start off? Hmm? What were you missing on the last start off? Yes. So why haven't I got it now either? Oh my god, I'm good. Sick. Right, can you hold your wheel still now? Second. Good. Well done. Round about ten left, please. Did you give way to? From the right? Yes. No one there? No. Okay. Well done. We're going to keep away from the uh, click and collect and we're going to turn right and go down the other side because there's a big queue. So, next right, please. Give way to this guy. Give way to the guy. It's a pedestrian crossing. Yeah, it's a zebra, so you've got to give way to people who want to cross. And we're going to turn immediately right also, please, Erin. Look where you would like the car to aim to. You're going on the wrong side of the road. You're going on the wrong side of the road. You just zoom in, Erin. Erin, go slower and go around things. Come on. We're going to turn right into one of these bays now. So put a right signal on. There's people around. Go slower. And then off the brake, gas and bite. And round and you go. Go as slow as you need to. Go as slow as you need to. Relax your grip. You might need to move your hands, depends. Where do you want to point though, Erin? Keep the car slowly moving and relax. When do you think we're pretty level? Keep moving. And you have to move and then straighten up. Move your hands. Stop. You, you didn't. You didn't. Did not. You just grabbed the wheel. Okay, secure your car. Out of gear. Relax. Don't worry, it's only the kerb and the wheel bump in the kerb. All right, so it's not a big deal, but it's that gripping of the hands that ruins stuff. It's quite interesting for me on how today went. Today was very good, but as soon as you get nervous of things, have you noticed how it falls off? And that really should be the main thing from today's lesson that you can try and do something about maybe in your own head to, to try and work with. That's enough with that. Roundabouts though. What were they like? Okay. They were pretty good, weren't they? Still need improving, but I think I reckon we get there soon. What bits do you think you worked on improve with most today? The indicator when you're coming off was quite well. I made sure I checked my mirror each time. Good. Why did you have enough time today to check your mirrors and indicate to leave the roundabouts, do you think? Because I've sorted out the stuff that I needed to before. You know as you're coming round, it's a little point, 
but it's such an important one. Count as you're passing, mm -hmm. not as you see. Because as you go around the roundabout, you're pointing like that, you'll see the first one, and then you'll count that, and then you'll see the second one, and count that, and then think, oh, I'm at a signal, oh, which one was it? Just count as you're passing. Mm -hmm. So you sort of like rely on your peripheral vision sideways just to go, here's one, there's two, I'm taking the next one. And that also frees your eyes to look a little touch further. So that was a big important point. Do you think you're sussing out your slowing down and maybe choosing first if- You can't if see. If you can't see, yeah, there, you there was one. You, you don't have enough gap in the traffic. Good. That was that was a, a noticeable improvement with me today. There was one towards the end where you went to go where there was a car next to you, though, only five minutes no, or so. That's what we did, yeah. yeah okay, no. so if that's the case, you can't do that. Okay. What you've got to do is slow, let this car move. And then so we can see. So you can see and hope for yourself. Occasions that may be able to allow you to go if there's a big, massive lorry and you're, you're protected by its trailer. However, be very careful if you're doing that I because do that. because lorries need more space. So if you are going with the lorry, you need loads of space on the roundabout for both you and the lorry. But if you can't see, you should hold back and okay. wait till you can. Don't just hope. Yeah. However, pretty good job. Sorry. Um, say again. So sorry about the car. It's nothing wrong with that. It's a bumper curb. Curbs. If you bump and touch them like that, it's not a big deal. If it was going to be anything that was going to wreck the car, I wouldn't let you do it, Aaron, so no worries. I actually thought that was quite successful, but that sort of like, uh, needs to now go, Aaron, not Ellen, Aaron, chill out and just rely on your observational stuff. Well done. All right, turn your car off. Done, finished? Yes. Well done. You enjoy your uh, <laughs> day at work if you can.